Shortly after winning that pot with Pocket Kings, I find myself looking down a King Queen offsuit after the Under the Gun player has raised to $12. I call. The players behind me tank a bit, so I just tell them I have King Queen offsuit. And only the small blind calls. It's King Queen offsuit. Just ask me what I have. I'll tell you. Which one do you guys want to see? This one or this one? It's King Queen. I'm telling them it's King Queen offsuit. This one? Show them both. This one? Okay. We'll show you this one. <laughs> King Queen offsuit. Queen Queen three. For our hand, we don't catch the best flop in Ace 7 6, and I just fold to a $15 C bet. I don't know, but. Telling my opponents my actual hand is probably not an optimal poker strategy. You see how he does it. Oh, what is this? Look at Thank that. What is this? Look at that. So excited. <laughs> so excited. Anyone who stacks Jamin gets $50 extra. They're going to get their they're going to get their chance. Right, stacks or double screw. Extra $50. Owen. Time for another table change, and as I approach, I get to witness Andrew Nimi taking money from his fans. I got a pair. It's got, it's got a big drop. Medium? No. Oh, yeah. It's got a jiggities. The two piece. Is this, is this Andrew or, or Brad? With clubs. There it is. How does that feel? How does that feel? People come out to see you and you just destroy them. How does that feel? Let's tell me about your feelings right now. <laughs> Andrew leaves, and almost immediately after sitting down at this table, I look down at pocket jacks. One limp in front of me, stakes are one three. I make it $15 to go. The cutoff calls and the limper, well, he calls too. On a flop of 8-5-9 with two spades, the under the gun player checks, and no one's in the mood to fold to my $20 C bet. So there's still three players headed to the turn. Three of spades. Under the gun checks again, and I bet $70. Seventy. Seventy. Seven zero. Count me out. Uh -oh. I don't like when you're thinking this long. I don't like when you're thinking this long. He doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> ah, now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. Check, check. What do we got? Check. The chickadees. Again? <laughs> it's that seat. That seat is the jack. Oh, yeah, that's what it's Nimi had, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the minimum that I can raise? What? An additional 30, 2, 6, I know that. I, look I know you're doing that. Swag that they gave. Plus like the, the jacket that they gave. <laughs> Another mug pot, but this time everyone decides to throw all our blue one dollar chips into the mug as a tip to the deal. My 10 4 offsuit didn't play this hand. Soon it's time for another table change. All right, good luck, gentlemen. So, as you can see, these table changes happen pretty quickly. Arriving at this table, I'm greeted with a gift a cool little Hot Wheels car. It's set on or near my chips for the rest of this morning. Thank you. So you're our last poker pro. Yeah, because I think it ends up at one. And poker pro for me is like, that's, we're stretching the definition of pro. 
Oh, we're, it's, we're, it's, we're stretching it. You're good. That's a first one. That's a first one. So two tickets. I never see that last one. We both got all of them. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't playing 100% crazy. I was mixing in some good play just to keep my sanity. Here, with the Stratalon, I make it $15 from the low jack after an early position limp. The hijack calls and the button makes it $50. The Straddler calls and the limper, the hijack, and I fold. Those two head to a flop of six of hearts, ace of spades, three of spades, and it gets checked through. The queen of spades turn would have given me two pair. The straddler checks, the button bets $60, and the straddler folds ace nine suited face up. I think I might have turned you there, sir. I had queens. Oh, did you? I had ace queen off. I lament my fold until the button tells the table that he had queens. Good fold, Jamin. Good fold. One of the most gut-wrenching hands of my poker career begins with the hijack limping, the button raising to $20, and me calling from the big mind with ace-jack of spades. The original limping hijack comes along as well. Deuce, four, five with two spades. Oh boy. I donk for $15 and the hijack rips it all in for $66 total. The button tanks and then finds the call and action returns to me. This board smacks everything I own. So I don't take too long with it before moving all in myself for $331 in. in the button tanks again. Much, much longer this time. And calls. And a call. The turn brings the queen of hearts in the river, the nine of hearts, meaning I just missed everything. The hijack turns over king queen of spades for the main pot and the button. Well, the button turns over my very own three five of diamonds for the larger side pot. Did he have to do it with three five suited? It man, it really be your own people. As the meetup is coming to a close, we move to our final table. Another 1-3 affair. After losing a couple small pots, I'm left with $44 as I look down at pocket nines. Under the gun has limped and the small blind raises to $15. Well, here goes nothing. We move in for our $44 and both call. This is my favorite part of poker hand. I'm all in, I can relax and watch these people attempt to suck out on me, you know? Now I know why you start going blonde. <laughs> the board runs out seven of diamonds, six of diamonds, seven of clubs, ace of clubs, four of diamonds, and there's no action until the river. The small blind bets $85 in the under the gun player calls. They win. She wins. Oh my God. It's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. I hate it. I'm not much of a fashionista, fashionista, right? <laughs> but this outfit. I mean, I think, I actually think Jamin would rock this outfit. I, that's why I pulled you aside. 
If you tell me where you got that, I will rock it, and then we can do a who wore it better. Sonia Stradion's book, Sure, on the Gold Coast. I expect you to research that. And if they make it in my size, I guarantee you I'll wear it. It's good seeing you. Are we at the Oscars? <laughs>